Hi folks, this is Peach Mario again with the uh, next video about um, community communications and how a feature request could look like. First, I'm closing some tabs. Um, yeah, feature request. As I showed you in the last video, there is the uh, Tilwiki uh, main page proposal or landing page proposal, and here is something which is called feature request. Yeah, I'm using this element. And there are two links which at the moment point to um, the platform which is called GitLab. Yeah? But if there are enough, uh, let's say, uh, community developers, yeah? we could create our own UI if we uh, want. Yeah? But at the moment we are using uh, what's there and which is finished and well integrated into a developer's workflow. So yeah, I go to the feature request board. Um, there is an overview about, uh, let's say, different possibilities like uh, plugin territory or, let's say, tags, then under consideration, uh, help wanted and doing. Yeah? So if a, a developer decides uh, to implement a new feature, then it can land here. Yeah? So this is like a Kanban board and there we have a different uh, overview. The second uh, link, sorry, is the feature request list. Yeah, which looks like this. Yeah, so we have everything in list form and we can uh, sort by weight, yeah, which is assigned by the developers, or by popularity, which is the upvotes. Yeah. For example, yeah, test image, uh, I go there. And if I want to upvote, I can't because I need to sign in. Okay, so um, you can register uh, a new account, so you can use your Twitter account or your Google account or you can uh, sign in with GitHub. I personally would uh, suggest if you already have a GitHub account, uh, use this one and try to create the same name that you have with GitHub. Uh, this would be, uh, let's say, an easy way for the developers um, uh, to identify the uh, different users. Okay. I did create a new account and I sign in with this one. I call it Lab Video. Okay, so I'm back and now I have the possibility. Uh, Luca created, uh, well, Luca also upvoted um, this uh, test uh, issue. So I can upvote it too. And now, if we have an overview, we can see it's sorted by popularity. So now the two upvotes. Uh, there. And this gives us a very nice way, uh, or let's say the developers a very nice way to see uh, what's really requested by different uh, users or by the community. Yeah? At the moment with GitHub, we have about, uh, I had a look uh, some time ago, we have about 400 to 450 open issues uh, which are feature requests. Yeah? And most of them are not actionable. Yeah? So, here we would have, uh, let's say, a very good way and also to have the possibility, um, yeah, let's say, to upvote these features. Okay, and as I said, at the moment um, I'm proposing uh, this workflow, yeah? uh, but if we have enough uh, developers for the homepage, we could make our own UI. Would be possible. Yeah? Okay, yeah, that's it for the feature requests, uh, different possibilities that we have, and see you with the next video where I talk about uh, feature requests with emails. See you.